Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on September 16th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and everything else affecting humanity. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms. Still only the bright departing sunspot. No Earth-facing sunspots. We do have a few plasma filaments to talk about. Small CME. But other than that, that is it. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. A little Earth to scale. Plasma erecting from the south and the north right now. Small CME shot out out of the south, southwest region of the sun. Looking at outgoing imagery here. Fiery sunspot region there did belt out the CME and we are expecting, if not already seeing, the space weather now. Closer look at the departing activity. And as well, the incoming activity. Small CME ejected right at Mars. Looking at the multi-spectrum here, you can see all of the events and their effects. Small glitch there. No coronal holes to talk about. Little solar tornado spinning there in the southwestern part of the sun. That's part of that plasma filament. Looking at 193 angstroms, you can see here, that is the coronal hole region. So we did have an Earth-facing coronal hole overnight. The last 48 hours of imagery, that's about it, though. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral, you can see the small CME ejected right at Mars. And as well, Stereo A. Solar X-ray flux remains low, as well as geomagnetic activity. We are expecting space weather, and it looks like we've got a little bit of missing data here with the real-time solar wind, as well all of the density and temperature. So we're sitting at about 300 kilometers per second. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, now this covers up the sun. That disk in the middle is covering up the sun. Therefore, we're able to see all of the action coming out of our sun today. Schumann resonance for today, a power of seven. Small blackout here in the last few images. So we are looking at a power of seven and a quality of 12.9. Let's have a look at earthquakes across the planet the last 24 hours as it's been pretty busy, especially through Alaska. And we're going to start out there. Largest earthquake today, 5.6 in Alaska. Chignac, Alaska at a, three, at a 36 kilometer depth, 5.6 and is followed by a 5.0 at a 40 kilometer depth and as well a 3.4 in the region. And I did forecast that uptick in seismicity last video. Having a look across North America, not much to talk about. Small earthquake there. Petrolia as well. Parkfield 2.8. And a pretty notable Stanley, Idaho 3.0 earthquake to report today. As well, McKinney Acres, Texas 2.9. And Belmoria, Texas 2.6. Or 7, I mean. 4.3 reported here in La Rivera, Mexico as well as Ayutla, Mexico, 4.7. 3.9 here to report the Valley Anguilla, 44-kilometer depth, and that's east of the Dominican and Puerto Rico. South American plate looking very busy today as well. La Guila, Chile, 4.6, 4.5, and a 4.6, as well as sizable 4.5 here, San Antonio de los Cobros, 
200 kilometer depth. And as well, 4.6 there. Moving northward to Erika, 4.2. And Equique, 4.4. So Chile is a rockin' today. As well, Alaska. South Georgia Island region seeing a 5.3 at a 10 kilometer depth. As well, a 5.0. South Sandwich Islands, 35 kilometer depth. Across the African plate, very quiet. Was talking about Africa today in the live stream, expecting a sizable uptick in seismicity for the region, especially through Europe as well. Very quiet. Too quiet. Carrying on here through Indonesia, Poso, Indonesia, 4.9, and as well a 4.4, 110 kilometer depth to Bilo, 4.9, Kermadec Islands, 71 kilometer depth, and as well the deepest earthquake today, 4.9 at a 526 kilometer depth. 5.4, Nano, Japan, 10 kilometer depth, and that's how the day started was a 4.5 here in Russia, 495 kilometer depth, and a 5.4 Japan. Minor earthquakes through Hawaii, nothing major to report. Having a look here, the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Increased activity through Japan this week. Deep earthquakes seem to be increasing in frequency. And as well, quiet through the African plate and into Europe. So definitely keeping an eye on Africa, Central America, and North into North American plate. Heads up, be ready, and have a plan. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking at here, Karamiski in Russia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Tokono, Indonesia, Nevada de Ruiz in Colombia, Fuego in Guatemala, Popo in Mexico, Reventador in Ecuador. Many storms and floods being reported here. Sabincaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador, Simaru, Indonesia. And that's about it. So we're looking at 11 volcanoes getting updated just in the past few hours today. As well, we've got some extreme weather and tornado warnings going through Minnesota. As extreme weather has been whipping up and forecasted from last video. Floods through the Gulf states as well through Florida. Jacksonville, Florida flood alerts. And northeastward into Washington, D.C. Another flood alert there. So that's from Tropical Storm Nicholas and as well remnants from the Northern Low. We do have one other Tropical Storm to talk about and that's Tropical Storm Changthu, which has been spinning now for about 11 days and is forecasted to carry on and follow the jet stream all the way to Alaska. I said that last video and this forecast has not changed. Many Flood alerts going across Papua New Guinea, Malaysia, Indonesia. Daily evaporation rains very heavy. Lots of moisture falling over the last few days. So flood alerts are going out. Also looking at a dust storm coming off the coast of Africa. This is NASA Worldview satellite imagery of that dust storm. As well, a very intense low just south of it getting ready to leave the coastline, heading into the Atlantic. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteorworth and as well daily events worldwide. We're going to start out here in Brantford, Ontario, home base for now as we have high pressure moving in and so it's going to be dry the next couple days. But then we'll watch by... Sunday into Monday, we could see some spotty rain, but cooler temperatures indeed. And then high pressure ridge building in again, and we won't see moisture up until the long range forecast. So Thursday or Friday, but a pretty nice week ahead and some cool temperatures at that. 
what parts of Western Canada, watching a very big low pressure system head into Alaska and British Columbia this week and watch for intense amounts of moisture to be heading down into Washington and Oregon, moving eastward. And then watch as this deep lower level trough makes it all the way across the mountains and then we'll be heading towards the Hudson Bay. Central America watching a low develop here heading up into the Gulf of California and as well Gulf Coast and that is remnants of tropical cyclone Nicholas bringing lots of moisture to Florida in the long range forecast. As well watching a pretty tight little whippersnapper here is just going to miss Newfoundland but then heading towards Iceland and Greenland in the long range forecast getting ready to whip around the northern hemisphere overlooking the Atlantic central regions here watch that low pressure system to quickly head off of Africa just missing the Canary Islands as well an intense low pressure system here it's going to be pushing through parts of central Europe Big high pressure ridge for parts of Eastern Europe through Finland. But watch this extreme weather moving into Russia in the long range forecast. And then some more extreme weather heading into the Mediterranean off the coast of Spain. So definitely some big changes coming to the Northern Hemisphere. Cool downs are already beginning through Europe and as well North America. Russia seeing a very large and intense system here spinning over the next five days as well a pretty wet system heading into both North and South Korea this week heavy rains through India as they have two low pressure systems that will be inundating the country and then almost a tropical cyclone here just off the coast of Korea in the long range forecast and tropical storm Chengthu looks like it's going to be heading towards Kamchatka. Another intense low pressure system there heading towards Alaska. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia, heavy daily evaporation rains forecasted this week. So watch for more flood alerts to pop up, especially through Papua New Guinea. Overlooking Australia. High pressure ridge for most of the west, but big low pressure system here, just sending in some waves of moisture from the south. And as well, cool, cool temperatures you could see some snow higher elevations. Same thing here for New Zealand in the long range, but mostly rain. And a lot of moisture here developing through the Pacific, getting ready to follow the atmospheric river into Alaska. And we're already seeing an uptick from the last low. And watch this to continue. Overlooking South America. Watch for this ridge line here to develop some pretty extreme weather. Buenos Aires, Argentina border into Brazil. And some very warm temperatures as well. Parts of Central South America. Overlooking Africa, five-day forecast. Parts of Western Africa, hot, cooler temperatures moving into South Africa. And as well, that big low leaving Nigeria now, but not without leaving flood alerts through the country. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Pointing out the big lows that are affecting us in the South and as well, the very tight and cold northern lows that seem to be spinning through the Bering Sea right now. Look at this one here, just south of South America. Wow. And versus the northern, we've got a lot of snow developing across the North Pole right now. This low pressure system has been spinning around in here for weeks. Just saying. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.